Good morning guys. How are you all doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. So it's Monday and it's a holiday here in Guyana. It's Caricom Day. We're celebrating. So my family and I we're heading out on the beach. We're going on a little picnic. We're going to go into my Samantha to pick up the castnet. And then we're heading back to the beach and we're going to show the castnet, see if we can get some fish. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, you know. Join me and let's begin the adventure. Here I got we cooler with some nice ice cream, orange juice, water and some casquino. We got some snacks here, peanuts, Oreo. We have some biscuits at Ritz. Oh, we got some fruits. So we have a on the beach. And this is my baggy in case I catch any fish to put the fish inside. Those are two of my number one subscribers, right? They're a big fan. Well, I see I watch the channel. Y'all watch it, the YouTube video? Every day I watch it? Lovely. All right, y'all wave, wave to the, the, the camera. Yeah, buddy. So you're gonna see yourself next week, right? Those boys are my neighbors. You know, they're, every time I post a video, they always shout me out. So yo, I watch a video, you know. The boys enjoying the video, man. No, no. Look, I ran into one of my subscribers here. What's your name, darling? Shanice. Shanice, and you watch my channel. Lovely. You wanna say anything to anybody? Say hello to anybody? Hi, everybody. All right. So I ran into one of my little friends here, one of my subscribers, shouting out to me. So I'm here on the jetty at the Kingston Seawall. And as you can see, the tide receded. And far distant there is the Pegasus and the Marriott. We got a huge container ship making its way into the Demirara River. So I'm taking a walk out in this jetty to see the prospect. You see here with these rocks, you cannot throw a fish net because it's going to get entangled and destroy on these sharp rocks. So I'm going to prospect where, if and where I can throw my fish net. This here used to be a famous hangout bar back in the days, you know, the Selena Resort. At the front here used to be, you can see some of the Benabs are still there. We used to sit at the front here, you know, and enjoy the atmosphere and, you know, sip on a beer or some wine. That was many years ago, though, 15, 20 years ago. It's sad, it's very sad to see this place went under and, you know, closed down. It was an awesome recreational place here. So what I'm doing here exactly is that I'm marking the spot where I can throw my fishnet. So it wouldn't get entangled and then I have to get me in this river to try to get my net out. You see the water is coming in, it's washing in right now. If you can look over there, you see it's making its way up on the mud. So the tides turn back and it's not coming in back. This is the beauty here of Cayano and the seawall. Ain't nature awesome? It sure does. So this is another part. You can come and have a look at the sunset. You know, walk on the beach. So I'm here now, I want to go check out that other jetty. See if I can throw my fish net there. So we got some guys fishing here. You know where the fish rod. I don't know if they're catching anything, but hey, this is the fun man, you know. Enjoy the day looking at the Atlantic. You get to the big one there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me see. Let me see what you get in there. We're cooking today, you don't go for Oh, hi, hi. How you doing? <laughs> no, we cooking. We come, we go and come and catch some fish now to go and cook. Okay, fish, yeah, you all catch anything? Not a thing. Not a. Oh man. Comment down. Where is she? Why? Why we catch a fish? 
<laughs> right, but that's what I, I got cast net, so I got you want to walk up in the jet if I see if if I see if we, I can go if I, if I could throw it because remember the rocks and so you can't show right? No, okay, you can stuck up here. Yeah. Uh -huh. like some women. Oh, the hard to get, yes. hard to get. I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> so I'm ready to sell my subscribers here. You know, some of my viewers and the nice ladies telling me, you know, fish. The fishes here are like some of our women. Very hard to get. <laughs> so I'm here on the other jetty, as you can see here, and we have a little tug or pontoon to call that. Boat, they're making its way into the Demerara River. Wow, there's no way you can throw a fish net here because of the among the rocks. So, this is not good fishing ground at all. But at least, you know, I'm prospecting to see. Oh boy. So all the rocks here as well uh, there's no chance of catching and then I don't want to take the chances to throw beyond there I don't know what's at the bottom there or how deep in the meantime while I prospecting the fishing grounds look at what my lovely wife is doing she's so hungry that she ate the entire fishing boat my god so I'm picking up the the cast net here from my by dry. It's a big cast net, wow. We made a stop here at Mr. and Mrs. Singh and look what we're going on there boy, they're cooking up then get all them spices fresh and season fresh season they pick from the garden, yeah? Man. Yeah. <laughs> then got some um, chicken tan out there, Mr. Singh clean the chicken. And yeah, I could guess what in here. This is some fly rice. Go on to miss. Enjoy that. When I saw eat some fly rice. Chinese fly, fly rice, see? <laughs> now nah, with nice egg panit on top. Man. Man. How can life get better than that? And all four, we got some, some chicken here, right? Yes. Oh man, some nice fried chicken here, boy. <laughs> How can life get better than this? Mmm, the pepper sauce too. Nice, yeah. We're gonna jump up here. We're getting fishing just now. No worries. We gotta wait for the tide to come back up, the water to come back up. Then we can go throw and catch we fish. We are making a red stripe. I want to see them label as a red stripe. Cheers. It's it's car come day. We have a holiday. So cheers. Oh. Cheers. cheers. Salush. Salute. Look at the beauty of these pigeons. <laughs> We're back where we all started <laughs> this morning where I came to prospect the um, the fishing but the water so high that now we cannot throw our fishing net and the rest of the beaches are they're closed and if you see this sign it says no fishing, no fishing in this area so we cannot fish here right now, or as we would have get some kuras or some, you know, some other basho or other fish down here. But just we can't right now. So we're gonna sit by and just wait for the sunset. I mean, look how awesome it is! So beautiful. There's nothing else to do here but to watch for the sunset because we're not seeing the sun right now. So not every day you're gonna see a wonderful sunset I haven't seen it there right now today is not so today is not the one of them better day or one of the best days for the sunset so what we're gonna do we're gonna head back home we're gonna relax and tomorrow we're gonna come back out here and we're gonna go catch some fish or at least try to catch some fish day two we headed down back to the jetty and then I throw my cast net See if I'll catch any fish to cook for dinner.
लोकलेला होते लोकलेला होते One more, one more small uh, quarry. These guys are not breaking the boat. And if we ain't get nothing, we're going home. I got, I got three fishes, I gotta cook them. Alright, I'm gonna fry them. And eat. So, <laughs> we got a little crabby here, right? We got a little crab there, and then we got another quaquari here. Hello. We're getting curry, but we, uh, five weeks, so we have one more fish. This is four and a half. One more fish and I get dinner. 
This is what the guy is doing Guyana. Some people that come to this the river or the trench, catch the fish, go home and they cook. So we got four fishes so far. The tides get a little bit high now, you see? The jetty is kind of covered in a distant there. We have some boys going out there to fish. And me and my crew coming back is the first time experience. How was the experience? Nice, but um but what? Risky too. Risky because you can't swim. And shot man, what we got in the bag shot man? Where you got in the bag? Open the bag, let me see what you got in the bag. Open the bag, the bag. We got some little fish. We got four little fishes. We can go home. I can head home now and I can cook them fish if I get one more than all of you would get one one fish but it's the fun you know I buy my cats to try it out when I catch two fish but that's how the average man in the countryside that's how he lives you know the average man in the countryside that's how he lives he go to the river or the trench and he catch a couple of fish he go home and he cook so I catch a couple of fish now I'm heading home start cooking I'm back in the kitchen and these are my little fishes like this is a quackwari in Guyana we call it quackwari and this you see I think it's tree tree or something we call this other fish in I don't remember it fully but hey it's a catfish family so I'm gonna clean them and I'm gonna fry them I didn't eat this one here in many many years since I was a, a small boy growing up and even these here I haven't eaten them in a long time but I'll try to tell you how it tastes Put them up on there and I add it in my little aisle. Now, over here, I got them four small fishes there. I add some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some Cajun seasoning. I'm gonna butter it with some flour, then I'm gonna fry them. But remember, guys, in some countryside, you know, where the less fortunate people live, this four little fishes that you see I caught here, they would have make a curry because of course they plant the mango tree, they got the okra, the tomatoes. You know, they would have probably get two mangoes, two tomatoes, a couple of okras, and they make a fish curry. With the same four little fishes here, no. But I didn't want to make a fish curry today. I gonna fry them because I eat them long. A long time ago I didn't eat these fishes, so I'm gonna taste them today. Oh, you got your fish sizzling there. Look at them bad boys there. I'm gonna drink in my little vodka now. <laughs> this is what I come in. Real nice as cutters. But don't you worry, my wife made cocoa rice yesterday, ve vegetarian cocoa rice. I'm gonna hot up some and eat my fish with it for dinner. I told all you, my wife made I cooked up rice yesterday, you see a lot of red beans in there and carrots and now I got my nice fried fish so I, I is the boss, I can take a big one right put them over there and Miss Lynch and try it out one so let me taste this food here right now so I know they cook up eat good right Cause I it yesterday. Well, that is a fish now. I didn't eat this fish in more than 20 years. But for it is reason that look good. Look at the whiteness and the freshness of this fish. This is the beauty of eating fresh. At least, my wife had vegetarian cook up for dinner while we went out and I catch my two fish and come back. So now I have fried fish and vegetable cook up. Cheers. So if you enjoyed this video, please show me some love and hit that like button. Thank you for watching. It was a pleasure having you with me. Peace out and see you in the next video.